We've come to section 28, motors and generators. Let's look at the changes for 2015. Self-protected combination motor controllers are installed as a factory assembled unit that is designed and tested to provide the four essential motor branch circuit functions, disconnect, short circuit protection, controller, and motor overload protection. Used in industrial applications where single and multiple motor control processes are required, they eliminate the need for individual disconnects, fuses, fuse blocks, and circuit breakers for each motor branch circuit. The components are selected, assembled, and tested as a combination unit. The advantages include reliability, smaller size for a given horsepower rating, and a modular unit which has an overall short circuit current rating higher than the lowest rated individual product. These units can be mounted on a DIN rail. Special endurance and short circuit tests ensure a coordinated combination starter that will clear a detected fault and protect itself from damage. It is the only category of combination starter that a designer can easily identify as self-protected due to the required self-protected combination motor controller product marking. Power electronic devices, such as VFDs and solid state contactors, have been around for many years. Manufacturers can provide very precise circuit and motor protection using electronic means installed as an integral part of the controller. Rule 28212 permits electronic motor controllers to provide supplementary overcurrent protection as long as primary overcurrent protection is provided in compliance with Rule 28200. Several CSA and UL standards define the construction and testing and therefore the acceptable application of electrical safety switches. A manual motor starter marked suitable for motor disconnect is certified for use when the branch circuit overcurrent protection is on the line side of the switch. Disconnect switches that are CSA or UL approved and marked for general purpose, main disconnect, or motor branch circuit protection must be used when the overcurrent protection is installed on the load side of such disconnecting means. Where conduit is used as a wiring method to the disconnect switch, the conduit shall be sealed and provided with a drain fitting as close as practicable to the place where the conduit leaves a warm area for a cooler atmosphere. Warm air moving through a conduit will condense when the conduit is located outdoors in a cold temperature. Sealing material in the conduit on the warm side of the box or fitting is intended to prevent breathing or circulation of air, which can result in condensation of vapor, and the drain fitting will allow any condensate from collecting at the seal. Rule 22302 provides other requirements for draining and sealing the conduit. This Cooper Industries drain fitting is designed and approved for ordinary locations. It provides means to ventilate and drain conduit systems. It is installed in the bottom of an approved box with threaded conduit entries, such as an FS box. Installing a box where knockouts are provided is not acceptable. Generators require regular maintenance and servicing and a means to completely isolate the power and control wiring is required to provide protection for service technicians. Subrule 3 allows the disconnecting means to be omitted when the generator comes equipped with integral disconnecting means or when the generator is constructed to CSA standard C282. This standby generator installation complies as the disconnects are capable of completely isolating the generator. Table 44 has been revised. A new 208 volt AC motor full load current column has been added and three of the 200 volt motor FLA values have been updated. That's all for section 28. Thanks for watching.